Hello YouTube again, uh, for the second time in a day. Um, my friend Carpetbugs and I uh, made a bulk storage. Uh, this it's without decoder. It's without the decoder because uh, we're we're using the same design as the one we're using in our storage hall. The the technical aspect decoder. Um, so. This sto this bulk storage is based on Palapala's storage, but we optimized it. So now uh, it's faster in a lot of ways. So we use instant wall technology to push up and down these things faster. And we also use butted lines to, to activate these droppers faster. So it, it yeah. Um, and you can also, so here, here is where you select, uh, slices to enable. And so you can enable slices like this, the light comes on, and basically it unlocks all the hoppers in the slice. And each slice can hold a million items, uh, if you store shulker bo full shulker boxes. Uh, and so that's one of the functions so we can throw items into there they get picked up and then this light will tell us if there are items currently in that slice so if we turn it off again so it's this one turn it off and then we look at another one which is empty we don't get any signal but when we read this, we get a signal. And so if you want to get items from this bulk storage, you can hit this note block, which will trigger this whole uh, bud line, which will get you the honey, which will get you whatever, one of whatever in that thing. And I'm pretty sure, I think this is hopper speed, or at least close to it, but you can get items a lot and pretty fast. So we're going to be using this for um, our part of our binary storage system. So when the main hall, when it need, when the chests need to be filled, the main hall will ask the bulk storage to give materials. And so, yeah, that that's how it does it. So um, thanks for watching. I'll put the Lightmatica schematic download for one for for um i think this whole thing in the description and yeah thanks for watching bye